Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, thank you for being here this afternoon for the Sacramento State Winter Jazz Festival. Uh, next up, we have Northgate High School's Jazz Band 2 under the direction of Roberto Garcia Leyva. Thank you so much, uh, everyone, for being here. Most of us is, uh, are Northgate folks, so for those of us that are not, um, thank you once again. That was Down for Double, uh, originally by Freddie Green, arranged by Rick Stitzel, uh, and that was performed uh, actually by the Count Basie uh, Orchestra. And that featured Claire Paluzian on tenor saxophone <laughs> and Carter Paluzian on trombone. And our next piece is a piece called Oye Que Pasa by Victor Lopez. And this will feature uh, Nate Elwood on guitar. Yeah. Claire Paluzian on tenor saxophone. Yeah. Tayo Lee on piano. Yeah. And uh, our percussionists who are Liam Iglesias on congas. Yeah. And Vinnie Macaluso on drums.
guys and gals. Nice job. My name is Barb Kappen, and uh, I usually live over here on the piano, but I grew up over here playing saxophone and majored in saxophone for my undergrad and then did my graduate degree on piano. So I have a couple of things about um, from different points of the, of the band, some for the intersection, some for the horns. And uh, you have some really wonderful core elements going on. Um, solid, you're all solid musicians. It's fantastic. Good quality sounds and style and all that. Um, just from a step set up point um, standpoint, I might try putting the trumpet and the trombone on this side, maybe trombone next to the tenor and trumpet over here, only because um, there's something about the brass being in front of the drums, this relationship of brass players with with drummers that it might it might sort of, I don't know, be sort of the center of the band in a way, right? So that would be kind of interesting to try. And I don't know what to do with all the percussion, but but you guys sound great. Wonderful. Hold the flame. Yeah. Mambo, but if we want to get into some different grooves for the solo section, that'd be fun. 
So, and then on your two fives, make sure that you're you're doing good voice leading. So you're changing position from D minor to G, and it should just be one note different, right? So, right? You have always have good voice leading between the seventh of that chord.
Paul is don't have to be loud. He didn't. Ne he never played loud ever. He never played loud. And those could be the loudest instruments ever. What he did play with was a lot of color and texture and different types of drawing all these cool sounds out of them. So keep that in mind. Sing, sing here. We don't have to, with the widow, we don't have to go crazy with that, right? So, um, especially the smaller bands. So always get um, your dynamic sheeting that drum set players try to get on percussion as well, right? The congas sound, sound great. Okay, so can we try this, you guys? Uh, 
And neck, don't ever put any short necks. So that's another video I have is on, on jazz articulation yeah. that we did with uh, exactly like that. Yeah. So if you send me that, or you too, I'll, I'll connect you guys to it. So that was it. More articulation um, across here with the horns to make up your, the, the good time and the good um, intonation you have. It sounds great. Just pop the feel. And the rhythm section, just um, get off the page a little bit more. Do some exploration of, of other groups that we can insert. Absolutely. Sounds wonderful, you guys and gals. Thank you so much. <laughs>